morning internet it is 7 47 in the morning and welcome back to the channel today i'm riding 240 kilometers to a place called mashat i'll show you on the map uh, so i'm now here in sabsevar and i'm riding to mashat to the consulate of turkmenistan and hopefully hopefully i'll just get my visa then so then i can cross into uh, turkmenistan the next day so let's go So now I'm just going to go to uh, a hotel, drop my stuff and then, uh, yeah, go to a hotel. So I found a hotel, <laughs> look at this place. It's really, really beautiful room. I was searching for a hotel which looked a little bit fancy because I've been struggling so much with the internet lately. And uh, yeah, it's just almost impossible to keep on uploading videos and do all this online uh, work. So I thought maybe if I go to a hotel which looks fancy, maybe the internet is good. Uh, and this room only cost me 15 euros. <laughs> so yeah, it's still very cheap uh, and have a lovely, lovely room. And then I actually haven't tested the internet yet, but I hope the internet is good. I think with all of these videos about my Turkmenistan visa, I feel like maybe I have hyped Turkmenistan a little bit and you have now very high expectations about it. But just to give you, give you a head, heads up, I only have a transit visa, so it means basically I just have to ride straight through Turkmenistan. I will be riding straight through the desert, so scenery-wise and adventure-wise, I don't think I, I just don't have time to go and see anything else. I just have to go straight through. So yeah, it's just gonna be a few days of transiting. Uh, I don't think I'll have any internet in Turkmenistan either. So it is possible that the next video is going to take some time before I can get it up. I'll only have internet again in Uzbekistan, I think. So let's see. But uh, for now, I'm super happy I got the visa and my plan is still uh, going ahead. So that's awesome news. Good morning, internet. It is 10 past 8 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm crossing the border with Turkmenistan. I'll show you on the map. I am now in Mashhad and it's about two and a half hours ride to this border here and then I'll cross into Ashgabat where I will stay the night. So I have a transit visa, I can only transit through Turkmenistan and I have a set route so I cannot just go really wherever I want. What I have to do is ride from Ashgabat to Kunya Urgenj or something here with the border with Uzbekistan straight here through the desert in a straight line so i can't venture out here or here or anywhere else so border crossings are always a little bit tricky so i hope it will be smooth and easy so let's go
Nerede lan? 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 Nerede Your Salam. Hubi? Aha, two custom. kilometers. Okay. Passport, custom. Passport, pas passport. Okay. Carnet is Finnish, no? Or not? Carnet, uh, custom. Carnet also there. Okay. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, merci. merci. <laughs> Yes, yeah. There. Okay. There. I need to bring it here or yeah. bring here? I am in Turkmenistan. This was by far the most bizarre border crossing and entering of a new country. I'm, I'm standing here on a, a six lane road and sometimes see there's a car, there's a car, but there's nobody. <laughs> but anyway, the border crossing took uh, about two and a half hours. And on the Iran side, it was quite easy. Uh, it was a matter of stamping the carnet, stamping uh, my visa, so that was easy. Uh, but then when I crossed into, uh, but then when I walked into Turkmenistan, um, they were a little bit itchy about my camera, so I was like, okay, I can't record anymore. And yeah, it took forever. It was the procedure was just so weird. So let me think. Uh, first, I had to go to an office and pay some lady $14 and I got some papers. Then I had to go to somebody else. There they uh, checked my visa, checked my passport and everything, stamped my passport. Then I had to go to another office uh, where they uh, discussed my route and because my route is set, I cannot go in a different route. So they told me which road I have to take and all of that and filled in some more forms. Then uh, I had to buy insurance 
and a few other things i don't know then i had to go to a, a the bank which was another office with another guy and pay them what did i pay 73 dollars then i had to go to the doctor <laughs> that was so bizarre to so like see doctor so there's this kind of doctor's office and i was thinking so what is he going to do now like give me an exam or something <laughs> So, but then he only filled in my passport details and that was it. Then he was like, okay, go. So that was that. And then, uh, then they said, okay, bike inspection. So I was like, okay, so I had to move the bike. And then there were about five uh, military looking guys. And they asked me, do you have grenade, bomb, uh, AK-47, uh, automatic weapon? <laughs> and I was like, no. And they were like, okay, go. So I was like, okay. Uh, but then they said, uh, don't record or take video or photo for the next 25 kilometers until you reach the next uh, police check post. So I was like, okay, okay. So I didn't want to mess with these guys. So I didn't record anything, but it was so beautiful. Those mountains, like, so that 25 kilometers was stunning. So I was so sad that I couldn't record anything for you. But anyway, um, and then uh, reaching out, like after I finished the last bit of the mountains, I had this amazing view over Ashgabat. So this is the first city in Turkmenistan, which I reached, Ashgabat. And yeah, it looks pretty bizarre because they are, there's so little cars on the road that they are sweeping the road. I, I tried to record it, but there's like ladies and men sweeping the highway, which is a bit weird. <laughs> but anyway, I'm now gonna ride into the city and then uh, find a place to stay for the night. So uh, <laughs> let's see a bit more of Ashgabat. Ashgabat, this is my room. Look, it is massive, very big. Um, so my first impressions of Turkmenistan is just, it's just bizarre. I don't know. This city is feels so weird, and there are massive statues everywhere, and everything is extremely clean. And you see, yeah, those people sweeping the the, the main roads. I, I don't know, it just feels a bit weird. So yeah, I, I don't know what to think about this place. It's a bit, oh, it feels a bit odd. I don't know. Uh, I also didn't see any petrol station and I'm almost out of fuel. So tomorrow before I start riding, I have to really search for a petrol station because when I leave Ashgabat tomorrow, I'll be riding in a desert. So there won't be many <laughs> petrol stations there either. Uh, but anyway, um, main thing is is that i made it into turkmenistan it was not very easy but i made it basanti made it so that's all good i really hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.